anything amazing. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to ACF Kids Online. I'm Miss Julie, and man, it's a great day. Do you know why it's a great day? because I get to spend it with you. And any day that I get to spend with you is a great day in my book. Now, do you know what I was doing before this? I was giving my dog a bath. How many of you guys like to take a bath? Raise your hand. Ooh, some of you do and some of you don't. Well, you know what makes a bath better is a bath toy. I brought a little dolphin that we use in our bath and I'm thinking maybe you guys have a bath toy too. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna put a 10 second countdown clock on the screen. I want you to go run and find your favorite bath toy and bring it back to show me. Are you ready? Get set, go. Look at all your bath toys. Those are amazing. Okay, let's take our toy and pretend like it's floating in the water. Show me what your toy would look like if it was floating in the water. Nice. Now, what if it started to rain and storm? It would get a little bit crazier, right? It would be floating all over crazy. What if the storm got really big and really loud and the waves got really wild? What would it look like? Show me. Ah, crazy storm, right? Well, you can put your toy down for a second. Today, we are gonna hear a story from the Bible about a boat that was in a very big storm. Are you ready? Let's check it out. can do anything amazing there is only one who can do anything so amazing his name is jesus he is the strongest his name is jesus and he is oh so good Anything 
everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2.47 Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2.47have been doing. We have decorated the clubhouse to look like outer space. We're playing Out of This World. Outer space is so amazing. Did you know that a rocket ship is the only way to get into space? I'm building a toy rocket ship and I'm almost done. I just have to put on the last piece. They're so cool. Now my rocket ship is ready to fly into space. Count down with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <sighs> wow, a 
rocket is so amazing. It's just about the most powerful thing there is. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Lucy. Who? Who? Flying a rocket, are you? Hi, Ollie. Yes, I am. My rocket is so powerful. A rocket has power. Yes, it's true. But someone has greater power. Who? Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hola, friends. I'm Luis the Handyman. Just out here on this beautiful day using power tools. <laughs> I love that with the press of a button, I can <laughs> have all the power. <laughs> but today's story is about the one who has the most amazing out of this world power. Do you know who it is? Do you want to help me build this story? Great! Let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now, we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Okay, so like I said, Today's true story from the Bible is about someone who has the most amazing out of this world power. Hmm. Now I wonder what kind of power we have. Like, do you think we could stop the sun from shining in the sky? Huh. Let's try. Everyone yell, stop sun, stop. Ready? Stop sun, stop. Did we stop it? No. <laughs> well, we don't have the power to stop the sun. Hmm. Do you think we have the power to make it rain? Huh. Let's try. Everybody's gonna make it rain on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three, rain! Okay, stop. Look. Is it raining? Uh. No. <laughs> Do we have the power to make it rain? No, we don't have the power. But there is someone amazing who does. Do you know who it is? Yep, it's Jesus. <laughs> One night, Jesus and his friends were on a boat out on the sea, and Jesus went to take a nap. All of a sudden, a huge storm came up. Ooh, ooh, can you make it sound like a storm? Now, rub your hands together like this. Ah, do you hear the rain? Oh, and then it started to rain harder. Now, pat your legs, everyone. And harder. Pat faster. And harder. And Jesus' friends were scared. Now, show me your scared face. <gasps> it was raining and thundering and lightning. <sighs> and the boat was rocking back and forth. Ooh, can you rock back and forth with me? Oh, whoa, whoa. So, Jesus' friends woke him up. Help, Jesus, help, they said. And guess what? Jesus stood up in the boat and he looked at the wind and at the waves and he told them to stop. And the storm stopped. Jesus had the power to stop a storm. His friends were like, wow! Can you say that with me? Wow! Yes, they were amazed because Jesus, God's son, is out of this world amazing! Hey there, Ollie! Tell me, 
Who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. See you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus is so powerful, he stopped a storm. Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus is so powerful. He told a big, huge storm to stop, and it did. Jesus is amazing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Rockets are so powerful, but Jesus is even more powerful. He is amazing. Hey, Rocket, let's go launch to find my Bible so I can read more about Jesus. Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> What an awesome story. What was Jesus doing when the storm started? Yes, he was sleeping. But what was his friends doing? Were they asleep? The disciples? No way. They were awake and they were watching the storm. They were afraid. They were so scared. But did they need to be afraid? No, Jesus told them they didn't need to be afraid of the storm because he was in control. And what did Jesus tell that storm to do? Did he tell it to go? No way, he told it to stop. And when Jesus told that storm to stop, it did. Can you believe that? How amazing is Jesus? Now, here's a fun game that we can play together to practice remembering what Jesus said to the storm. I'm gonna give you guys a movement and you start doing that movement, whatever I say. And then I'm gonna tell you to stop. Jesus, just like Jesus told the storm to stop. And when I say stop, you guys freeze. Then I'll give you a new movement and you can go again. Are you guys ready? Okay, first movement is jumping. Let me see you jump, jump, jump. Stop. Did you freeze? Good job, you guys. Okay, next movement is spinning. Let me see you spin. Stop. Good job, you guys. Okay, next movement is touch your toes. Are you ready? Touch your toes. Go, 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 stop. Good job, friends. Okay, next movement is pat your head. Let me see everybody pat their head. And stop. Good job, you guys, way to go. Okay, now this is a hard one. I wanna see you frog jump. That's where you reach and grab your ankles and then jump like a frog. Are you ready? Show me your frog jump. Stop. Are you freezing? Good job. Okay, what about twist? Let me see you twist. And stop. Okay, last one. Let me see your dance. Show me your dance moves. And stop. Great job, you guys. You did a great job of moving and listening. You heard me when I said stop and you freezed. Okay, everybody can sit down now. In our story today, Jesus told the storm to stop and what happened? Yes, the storm stopped because Jesus is out of this world amazing. Who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Let's say that together. Who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Friends, today we heard an amazing story from the Bible about Jesus stopping a storm. Now, I want us to get in a boat and talk about today's story. So wherever you are in your house, maybe on your couch, maybe on your floor, you use some pillows. I want you to make a boat and I want you to climb in because we are gonna act out today's story together. Okay, are you in your boat? All right, today we're gonna pretend to be the disciples, Jesus's friends, and this is our boat. What 
what are the disciples doing in the boat? They were riding along with Jesus, right? And Jesus, he's asleep, but the boat is gently rocking side to side. Everybody rock side to side with me. Very good. It's floating on the water and it's very peaceful. Now, as we sail along, what happens? <gasps> a big storm comes. It starts to rain and thunder and the boat starts to rock harder, back and forth, back and forth. <sighs> oh, is everybody rocking with me? Oh, being in a boat on the water in a big storm is scary. Everybody show me your scared face. Okay, all right. Now, someone needs to get Jesus. Can you call out for help? Let's all say, help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Good job, you guys. Is Jesus coming to help? Sure he is. Jesus stands up, and what does he say to the storm? He tells it to stop, and it does. Look, our boat is safe and sound again. There's no more rain or thunder, no more big waves, and we're gently rocking again. Oh my goodness, everybody, let's tell Jesus, thank you, Jesus, you are amazing. Are you ready? Thank you, Jesus, you are amazing. Good job, you guys. You know, Jesus has the power to stop storms because Jesus is God's son. That makes Jesus amazing. Who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Let's say our verse together one more time before we go. We'll say it from inside our boat. Are you ready? Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47. One more time. Everyone who heard him was amazed. Luke 2, 47. Let's say a prayer before we go. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the way you showed yourself to be so amazing in today's Bible story. We know that you have the power to stop a storm, to do anything because you are God's son. Help us to believe in you and help us to tell everyone how amazing you are. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye friends, we'll see you next week.